Oh boy, as you can probably tell uh, from the stack of books that you can see, I am about to talk about my December TBR. And I think this is going to be a mess. <laughs> it is the end of the year. I have so many books that I still want to get through, whether they're for videos that I'm trying to work on, if they're for uh, reading challenges, if they're for, oh my gosh, I just have so much to get through. So much to get through. And this is going to be a normal TBR. And then at the very, at the end, I'm going to talk about my stretch goals <laughs> because I'm going to have stretch goals. So let's talk about the stuff that I like really, really want to get to this month. Okay. So the first three books are the Thursday Murder Club books. I really want to get to these and it's not only because I'm doing the Goodreads mystery, mystery thriller category that will be coming out whenever the awards are done. Hopefully I'll be finished reading all the books uh, that were in the original category. I had to read a lot. So I'm doing okay, but I've got to read these. I got to read these and I really do just want to read these. So I'm really excited to get to these and yeah, I picked all these up on Black Friday. If you haven't watched my mini Black Friday haul, go watch that. So if you don't know, these are mysteries, I wouldn't say thrillers, that follow a group of people who are like older and they are solving, they talk about cold cases and they solve current cases, etc. That's all I like the basic stuff that I know about it. I know it's like obviously probably gonna be a little different than what I said, but that is the basic premise and I'm super excited to read these. I've heard nothing but great things about it. So. Okay, another book that I absolutely want to get to is Jackal. This is also part of my Goodreads thing, but this is also one that I've really been wanting to read. I got this off Pango Books and it seems so good. So I think this one takes place in a small town and and women are going missing or they, they've been going missing for years and then uh, one woman's friend goes missing something like that and they're trying to figure out who is kidnapping these people and what's going on with the evil in this town so I think it sounds like a really fun thriller it did not make it through to like the second round but I still want to read it because I want to read everything that was originally in the category to see if I would have voted maybe a little bit differently the next one that I want to read is also part of the Goodreads thing and it is Wrong Place, Wrong Time. This one take, this one's like a Groundhog Day kind of thing where a woman's son, something bad happens relating to him and she, I think she wakes up every day like an hour earlier before the thing happens or a day, she she's, she's waking up like a day before everything happening. So the first time she like wakes up, it's a day before uh, the thing happens and then the next time she wakes up it's two days before the thing happens I think that's how it works but that's at least what it sounds like so this sounds really really good I didn't realize it was a Reese book, book club pick that's interesting uh but I think it sounds pretty cool and I'll be picking this one up and those two plus the next one we're going to be talking about I actually plan to read like hopefully before the 8th like I have a bunch of books that I need to read before the 8th all of those so far need to be read before the 8th of December and it is the 30th of November and I'm also including the It Girl by Ruth Ware in this. All I know is that it's uh, following the It Girl who has gone missing and her friend that was friends with the It Girl, she's the one who's trying to solve what's going on. So it's all I want to know about going into this. I always feel like I like going into Ruth Ware books blind, same with Lisa Jewell, because it's just better not to know what's going on. Uh, so yeah, I want to read this one too. They're all chunky too. Unfortunately, I left like the chunkiest books to the end. Uh, which is not great. <laughs> not great. Oh, I have so many books to get through. Uh, along with the Goodreads stuff, there is, uh, I also want to read The Violin Conspiracy. Oh, I know, I think it's like a Stradivarius was stolen and they're trying to track down the antique, something like that. And then the other one was, I think, More Than You'll Ever Know. These are all both are going to be on Kindle. Uh, I need to read that one. And I actually don't know what that one's about. <laughs> I don't know what that one's about at all. And I don't have it in front of me because it's going to be on my Kindle. Uh, and I think that's all I have left for the Goodreads. I really should have written down what I needed to read. But I think that's everything. Um, and the other book that I really want to read this month that is not part of my stretch goals and it's not part of a video is going to be... A Dowry of Blood. This is the Fairy Loot Edition. I have been dying to read this and I actually was going to get a copy 
uh, from the store before and then I found out Fairy Lit was doing it for their November adult box. So I was like, sweet. But now that I have it, I haven't read it yet and I really, really want to read this one. So this was something I wanted to read in October, but obviously didn't happen. So my copy came in November, which is awesome. And it came pretty early in November. I feel like Fairy Loot's adult subscription like sends stuff out. So uh, waited for it. And now we'll have a little spooky December read right here. Oh, and this one, I think it's like Dracula's Brides, something like that. It has to do with the horror with Dracula's Brides. All right, that is like what I really want to get to. Like that is what I like have to get to besides, you know, A Dowry of Blood. Like I don't have to get to that one. But, and I also have a bunch of like book of the month that I'll probably switch in and out, but I don't know. My TBRs are always like loose TBRs. Uh, because I'm a mood reader, so who knows what I'm actually gonna get to. Now we are to the stretch goals. We are to the stretch goals, and what I want to read, I really, really want to read these two books this month, and it is Tomorrow, Tomorrow, and Tomorrow, because this was, whose pick was it? I think this was, hmm, was this book of the month? I think this is book of the month's finalist, their winner of their book of the year. So I think this is book of the month, book of the year, even though I got like the normal edition of it. Uh, really excited to read this. I'm nervous because everyone's gotten really emotional about this book and it's definitely like out of my comfort zone, but it's also about video games. So that's kind of all I know about it is that it's emotional and there's stuff to do with video games. So I'm excited and also so nervous, but this, I really picked it up because the covers just, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. And then the other one, I'm push stretch goals to the side. Uh, the other one that I want to pick up is also because it was uh, Barnes and Noble's book of the year is Lessons in Chemistry. Again, I this was a book of the month, but I did not pick it up because I was like, it seems emotional. It seems out of my comfort zone. I don't know about this. And then when I saw the Sprite Edges, and then uh, if you didn't know, uh, my major in college was biochemistry. So the fact that the periodic table is like on here, I was like, I have to get it. <laughs> I have to get it. So I ended up getting the special edition from Barnes & Noble and I'm really excited to pick it up even though I'm really really nervous about it. And like I said I kind of wanted to do a reading vlog just with those two because they're both like picks of the year. So I kind of wanted to do that. So and what I might do is after the picks come out for all the Goodreads, I'll probably put those in and then also do the finalists for the rest of the categories for Goodreads, at least the ones that I read, uh, which I think could be really fun, but we'll see. I haven't decided if I want to do that yet. Anyway, moving on to more stretch goals, I really want to get to As Long As The Lemon Tree Grows because, oh, As Long As The Lemon Trees Grow, I put the S in the wrong place. I think this sounds really good even though it sounds really sad i actually thought this was adult an adult book but this is apparently a young adult book which i didn't know about but this book i really want to read it it's out of my comfort zone i'm kind of make, trying to make december like out of my comfort zone because i've all i've been reading is thrillers which are very much in my comfort zone so once i'm done with my thriller vlog i probably won't be reading any thrillers the rest of the month maybe uh so i kind of wanted to try stuff like more outside of my comfort zone which is why you're not seeing really any young adult fantasy, which is like my niche. Anyway, this would uh, finish also my uh, reading challenges for book of the month. So I really need to get to this. And I think I probably need to pick up one more. I just, I haven't looked into it too much other than I know I need to read this for like, I need like one more debut author, I think. So this should fulfill this, excited to read it. My next stretch goal, I told you, I got, guys, I had a lot, I had a lot. I know I talked about not reading another thriller, but I really want to get to the retreat before I forget what happened at the end of the sanatorium. <laughs> I'm trying to be better about reading like sequels closer to when I read the original book, uh, which is why I'm holding off on starting a bunch of series. I have tons of series upstairs. I really want to start, but I'm not going to until I at least get the second book. So that's kind of where I am with that. But I have the second book, The Retreat. I really need to pick it up. I did enjoy the sanatorium. I thought it was interesting. I wasn't expecting it to have a second book. So that caught me super off guard. But yeah, I'm excited to pick this one up. I really want to get to this one, but we'll see. This one's going to be a super stretch goal because I'm reading so many thrillers already. I don't know if I'm going to want to do another thriller. And I got two more left. 
this one has been on my TBR for so long because I have another edition. So I have two editions of this book. I don't know which one I'm going to read, uh, but I really want to get to Strange the Dreamer. <laughs> I really want to get to Strange the Dreamer because everyone is, so I'll create, so I have the Lichow edition, haven't read them. I really need to read them because the funny thing is I, I don't like the cut, the main covers. I love the stuff on the back. So like, I like these and then I love the like, artwork inside them. I feel like they chose the worst artwork to go on the front because like look at that. It's so pretty. <laughs> like that's what I want to be on the front. So Alcrate just announced that they are releasing like a new set of this and I like those. I like those a lot. I like those a lot. So I really really want to read this but the problem is they're coming out I think on like the 6th. So I would need to start reading this now because it's probably gonna sell out they're really pretty <sighs> so i don't know i'm so torn because i don't i'm trying not to get any special edition sets anymore that's been one of my goals since like four months ago i haven't gotten any special edition sets i've been completing my special editions that i already have like when they send out the first books uh but i haven't bought any sets recently but dang that looks so good so anyway that's why this is on my list again i feel like it's been on my list a lot. I think this sounds really good. This is young adult fantasy, so more my wheelhouse, but it is like denser, it's a lot thicker. Uh, so we're gonna see how this one goes. And the last book that I want to read because this is one of my favorite authors. Like I, I don't know if I can say that though. I guess I don't know because the first two books, oh my gosh, five stars. Both of them are five stars. And then I picked this one up and I just haven't read it. And now her next book is coming out, and I ha it's coming from Book of the Month. So I'm like. I have to read this one. So I really want to get to A History of Wild Places. I need to get to this one so I can read the next one. I try not to read like further in, like if I have one book already, I try to read that one first and then I'll get to the next one. So it doesn't really matter because I don't think they're like, I don't think any of her books are series. So I just need to sit down, read this. This is definitely a stretch goal because I can see myself putting it off for other things, even though it's it's mostly because I'm nervous. Like I'm nervous I'm not gonna like it and then I'm gonna be really sad because I love her other two books. So hopefully I end up getting to this and hopefully I end up liking it. There are honestly so many other books that I wanna get to this month, but these are the ones that really like stuck out to me. Uh, I am not, I feel like everyone's taking this chance to like finish series up and do this and I'm just like I'm starting a bunch of things so I feel like I'm not rounding out the year well uh I'm just adding more to my plate I don't know I don't know I feel like I should be trying to finish series instead but I did that last month with that reading vlog if you haven't seen that I finished three series so go check that out because maybe that will be more satisfying than my TBR for this but I hope, I hope I get to these. I hope I get to some of those stretch goals. We'll see where my mood reading takes me as well. So that's all I've got for you guys. Make sure you subscribe to see reviews for these books coming out and that Goodreads vlog. I've worked really hard on that one. So I hope you guys end up seeing it. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got for you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video.